presence of the Lord rest upon each one of your lives these next couple of days and months grace and peace be unto you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ this is your truly and my presiding bishop and chief apostle my daughter Lamont Robinson founder and global prophet our first prelate Dr. Paul Smith Apostle Bernard Burns our international general mother to Pastor Lois Wilson. We esteem and honor all the apostles, prophets, and then pastors and teachers, evangelists, to the clergy at large, to every denomination. Please share and tag, invite a family and a friend as we pray and intercede in, in warfare. Amen. Please take your first and last name. Saturdays at 11 a.m. It's Bible study, Salawat Gospel Seminary Incorporated, 11206 Promise Boulevard, St. Albans, New York. Amen. Also, Sunday at 8 p.m. is Prophetic Encounter. Amen. Uh, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Is, is prayer meeting. Amen. First and fifth Sunday, we have 438 Beach 40th Street, Murray's House of Praise. Amen. Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. are business hours. Amen. If you have any concerns or prayers or anything you want to write to us, the website is on, on Google 914 512 8581 Amen. We worship the Lord. And give God all the glory, the honor, and the praise. That the shifting is getting ready to happen in America. And we tear down every principalities, every powers, every power of darkness in high places. Amen. Whatever is done in the dark God bring it to the light in leadership in your personal life open that the, 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 the gift of discerning to open them that labors amongst you we don't put our trust in, in man we put our trust in the Lord God give these people divine direction from heaven on the next assignment that you want for them to do Use them for your glory. Bless their ministries. Amen. Then they might be great as, amen, users of your kingdom. Amen. Become against the scammers. Amen. Amen. Even through the trials, even through the tribulations and persecutions, we give that most high God all the glory. The honor and the praise. Amen. More grace to you. Amen. We thank God for your presence, God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank you all for coming out and supporting online or in person our holy Amen convocation. Amen. Thank you again. Amen for your support. Amen. It was a great blessing. Lord supernaturally move in his by his power and by his might. It's a season of cutting Amen the cord and cutting certain people out of your lives. Amen. I have been through some wilderness experiences. I have been through some trials, some tribulations. Amen. Friends have turned against you. Family have turned against you. But if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, God been there. Amen. Always on your side. Even through the thick and thin. God bless you, Pastor Prophet Edward Nelson. Church of Destiny is watching. There's going to be a great, amen, 
tear down and build it back up because whatever is not legit in the spiritual realm, God is about to get ready to destroy it. Amen. We come against these, these religious cults. We come against these religious cults. We come against it now in the name of Jesus. Black magic. Amen. Wishes and warlocks. Amen. Are practicing witchcraft. Amen. Menuminatis. Amen. The spirit of control and manipulation. Amen. Underwater spirits. We come against it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nightmares. Nightmares. Some of you get nightmares at night. And um, you feel like you're running, you're running, you're running. You're scared, you're afraid. And I'm asking God to break that spirit of fear, spirit of depression, the spirit of mental illness. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it right now in the name of Jesus. Break it. Break that spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, break it. Break it. Down legal thought. Bring it under protection under the knowledge and the truth of God. Bring it under protection. Let it find line up to the line. Up, let it line up to the thoughts of the Lord. Amen. Guys, I know the plans upon your life. God got some great things in store for you people. Keep your hands clean. Stay clear. Mind your own business. Leave other people's business alone. And do this assignment that God has for you. Amen. He's going to open up amen, uh, appointment doors for you. Amen. It's a minister. Not just in your local regions. But he's going to use you to minister in different parts of the states. God is going to use you. We're asking the Lord to bless some of you with homes. We ask God to bless some of you with apartments. We're asking God to bless some of you, amen, with jobs. Amen. Some of you have been applying for jobs online on Indeed. Amen. Also, you've been waiting for them to get back in touch with you. You better already submitted your um, resume. And they're going to be calling you for your your job and if you some of you already submitted your 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 uh, forms for your housing and the Lord is going to give you your heart desire is housing he's gonna bless you with that one bedroom he's gonna bless you with that one bedroom and met a studio apartment he's gonna bless you amen with new the keys amen and man your lease has already been signed your form already been fulfilled so give God glory for that is coming to pass. Some of you have family members that are dealing with um, court cases and are, are different issues are going on in their lives and um, they dealing with baby mama issues and they build it back and forth to court. The Lord is is moving a man in a supernatural way. Some of you are going through relationship issues, relationship issues with your peoples. Amen. You've been going back and forth to relationship issues. Amen. Is uh the arguments, amen. They're not being treated fairly. Amen. The favoritism is going on and um the Lord is, is gonna is giving you all togetherness, unity. Some of you've been raised in psychotic homes, some of you've been raised in foster care, adopted, amen. Um, and some of you ever had all the toys you want or how all the attention you want. Some of you feel lonely. Some of you feel depressed, you feel anxiety, you feel like you're going through a mental breakdown, you feel like you're going to cut yourself, or you feel like suicidal, and you feel sometimes, you feel that bipolar coming into you, and the Lord is going to give you a mess, a mess, he's going to, he's going to give, keep your mind together. Some of you are, are, are racing and, and, and doing things too quick, that spirit of anxiety, the spirit of a... Uh, jittery or nervous amen you can't stay in both places amen you can't be in both places amen the lord wants to give you amen sound stillness amen become against amen the spirit of uh, of the enemy amen he's buzzing in your ears people buzzing in your ears amen the spirit of of, of the spirit of division 
debate, arguments. Some of us had the spirit of greediness and competition and pride and ego. God wants to break them spirits down in the name of Jesus. He want to break them spirits down in the name of Jesus in leadership. He want to break the spirit down of me, myself, and I, selfishness, greediness. Amen. I think they be more than somebody else. God wants to break the spirits down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You've been raped. You're a rape victim. You've been molested. Amen. You think back and forth to therapy for anger management. The Lord sees all things. He knows all things. Amen. Some of you battle with sexually spirits. Some of you are battling with jerking off and masturbation. And the Lord wants to heal some of you as, as we speak right now. God wants to give you peace. He wants to give you peace. Self-control. Amen. Put them Jodo toys down. Put them toys down. Turn out that pornography videos, that Playboy videos, the Playboy books. Amen. Turn them things down and God and let God speak to some of so God. Amen. Speak to you. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to you real talk here, people. Some of you don't, amen, realize, amen, things that you're going through. Some of you battle with sexual addictions. Amen. The spirit of, 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 of molestation. The spirit of sexually, amen, addic addiction. The spirit of drug addiction, weed and cigarettes. Amen. Crack. 2K. Drinking, smoke, amen. Let's go further down. Gossiping, murderers, amen. Jealousy, spirit of amen. Backbiting. A lot of us is battle with these spirits that we don't tell people we battle with, but God knows all things. Spirit of lying, traitors, amen. Spirit of rage, anger, amen. Preventive of evil things. Some of us don't tell certain people certain things. Amen. Pick them Jordan toys down. Amen. Some of you, amen. Amen. Midnight Rumble. Amen. Some of you battle with a lot of things you don't tell people. But God knows all things. And God wants to heal some of you. He wants to deliver some of you. He wants to set some of you free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be careful on the places that you are acquainted with. Be careful on the people that you are acquainted with. Because spirits are transferable. They must seduce the spirits. Amen. Amen. Spirit of being a thief. Amen. Some of us battle with not keeping our hands to ourselves. Spirit of lust and naked from the eye. A wise, the wise wolf. Amen. Gather the camouflage. Can I be a religious camouflage? It says, Me, it's me. It's me, oh Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Come out of your religious camouflage. Come out of tradition. Amen. Amen. Don't let these credentials, don't let these positions fool you. We're nothing without God. Stay humble. When God begins to make your name great, amen, stay humble. And be careful how we treat people. Because these same people you mistreat will have to come one day and do shit to some people. Be careful how we treat be careful how we treat people from the pulpit to the door. Amen. 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 Force. Amen. Idols and deities and idolatry and false apostles, false prophets, false in the spirit realm. Amen. Strange doctrine. Amen. 
hierarchy, ego, statistics. Man, trust the Lord with all of your heart and lean not into your own understanding. Acknowledge the Lord and He will give you divine direction from heaven. God will give you divine direction from heaven. The Lord Himself will give you divine direction from heaven. And then do what God has commanded your hands to do. Do what God has commanded your hands to do. Amen. Enough with the performance. Enough with the tradition. Let us worship and praise God and live according to God. Amen. Follow the thoughts of the Lord. A lot of you following man. Follow the Lord. Amen. And stop thinking that it's all about this. All you are being used. When you see these mighty miracles... When you see these people get healed off the wheelchairs and things, it's all God that is using you. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. It's never you in the first place. God says, I am the God. I'm a jealous God. Put no other God before me. Like your bishop, like your apostle. It's him first. God is first. We respect our spiritual leaders, but we worship the Lord. We give him, we get our direction from above, from heaven. Let the Holy Spirit speak to some of you. Because God got some assignments for some of you to do. In your regions, he has some assignments that he wants you to go forth and do. Like it's preaching engagements. I'm talking about evangelism. I'm talking about evangelizing and doing the work of the Lord. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. God bless you, my brother from Chicago. Amen. Do the work of the Lord, and God will get the glory. And do it from your heart. Whatever that we do in the house of the Lord is to, to the glory of the Lord. But a lot of us is trying to do the things by our own selves. Amen. It's not about me, myself, and I. We don't possess and own anybody. Everybody belongs to the Lord. When they get to heaven, they go on for God for themselves. Amen. They ain't going to meet you in the throne. They ain't going to meet you in the throne. They going to meet the King of Kings, Jesus Christ himself, face to face. Amen. So I want you all to seek the Lord and let him visit you face to face. God wants to visit some of you. He wants to give, he wants to divinely visit you in your dreams. Amen. God wants to divine visit you in your dreams. He has divine places that he wants to take you. Amen. But you gotta hear the voice of the Lord. You gotta hear the voice of God. Amen. Whatever thoughts that's not legit. Ask God to remove it. Whoever is not legit connections. And if you feel a weird vibe, and you feel those strange, and you feel a little sick, or you feel a little thing, that person is not legit connection. Amen. Because what God is about to take some of you is gonna blow your mind. God says, I will make your name great. Amen. Amen. You will minister and touch thousands and millions of people around the world. God is going to use you as mouthpieces unto him. To preach in Africa, to preach in Pakistan, to preach in India, to preach all around the world. I'm talking about the globe. Amen. Stay humble. And hear the voice of the Lord. And God wants to divinely visit some of you in your dreams. Amen. Because there's some people that he wants to pin in your spirit. Amen. God wants to pit some people in your spirit. Amen. We come against. Amen. That spirit. Amen. 
of evilness. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Amen. Canaan against kingdom. Nation against nations. Rumors of war with running in the streets. They running in the streets. Crying out. What can I do to be saved? The soon world will be destroyed. It says it in the books of Matthew chapter 24. And it also said it in Revelation chapter 21. I make a new heaven and new earth. God about to get ready to tear down some things and restructure some things for his glory. Amen. Amen. There's a new heaven and new earth. There's a great glory. There's a great revival is getting ready to happen. God will get ready to do next year to crack the sky. Amen. Jesus Christ is soon to come. Get your house in order. I'm talking to you leaders around the world. Amen. Amen. Do what God has commanded your hands to do. Do what God has commanded your hands to do. Do what God tells you to do. Do what God tells you to do. Who God wants to divinely and meant to preach in the service. Some of us got our favorite preachers. Do what God have told you to do. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. Come upon your people. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. Miracles. We release to you miracles. Signs and wonders. Breakthrough, deliverance, and healing. Be amongst each one of your lives. Amen. We destroy every demonic force, every demon, every devil. Every power was of darkness. I mean, every trap, every trap, every sabotage, every destroyer, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hear the voice of the Lord. The crooks is going to be disposed. Amen. Amen. Come against that false religion. Stop hiding behind the camouflage. Stop hiding behind the camouflage. Talking to you preachers. Talking to you everybody. This is me too. Some of you will have that spirit of greediness, pride, ego. Run God's sanctuary how God wants you to run it. Not your own thing. But run God's sanctuary how God wants you to run it. According to his thoughts and his ways. Amen. And stop seeking credentials. And stop seeking credentials. And seeking, stop seeking people and seek God. And God will divinely take you to the next level. Stop seeking, amen, approval of men. I knew your mother's womb. I never hear in your head. He's calling you, the Ephesians 4, verse 11. Amen, 12 and 13 to 14. He gave some apostles and prophets, pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the working of the ministry. Amen. Build the, the apostles and prophets was the foundation of the church. And Christ at the chief cornerstone. It is all about the Lord. It is all about God. And all that we do from the sanctuary from our lives, everything about the breath of our body was paid on the cross. Everything about us is all God. Everything that we do is all about God. Jesus, the breath that we breathe, everything 
about us is all about God. Amen. The blessings come through God. And God is going to use some of you. And I want you to get this in your subconscious thoughts. That is all about the Lord. Your thoughts, your, your, your breath, your breathe, everything, everything. Yeah, man, we pray to we pray to God. Whatever God, whatever God, whatever divinely you want to take me, take me, God. Get out of get out of me, myself, and I, and come out of this religious thing. And man, people know when you're faking, when you're real. They know when you're trying to perform and you're trying to mimic somebody on YouTube and Facebook. God make you an original. That I hear somebody. God made you an original. And no one can copyright that. Amen. Because your life is, a, is, is your life. Remember that. Nobody can copyright it because your life is a reality. Remember I say to you, nobody can copyright it because your life is a reality. Amen. Remember that. Keep going forth and do your music. Keep going forth and, and, and doing your music in the studios. Write your books. Make it plain. Write the vision and make it plain. Go forth. Amen. And do what God has commanded your hands to do. Go and get that business. Go and get that business you want. Go and get that entrepreneur, get that business you want. Go and get it. You want to be multimillionaires? You want to do it? Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody belittle you and tell you not you ain't nothing. You are a child of the king. Walk in your true authority, kings and queens. You have the authority. Write the book. Make it plain. And let it publish on Amazon. And people will buy your books. Amen. You'll be on multi TV platforms, radio, TVN. Amen. Amen. Spectrum, Verizon. God is going to use you to touch the world wide. You will travel and minister with your music with the tour bus. With the tour bus. They're going to be calling you for the tour bus. You have incoming audience are coming out to the open. God is going to use you for many platforms. God is going to use you. I'm talking to you, artists. I'm talking to you, entrepreneurs. Amen. You will be well over now. God will use your name and people will come in and follow you. To stay still and let God lead the way. And this is coming from a positive standpoint. All positivity. Everything is all positive things here. Stop letting people tell you what you're not going to be. Some of you have been, been, been raised in single parent homes. You've been raised by your father, your mother. Write that book and make it plain. Some of you have been incarcerated, locked behind prison. Amen. Write that book and make it plain. And when some of you are facing court cases right now, write that book and make it plain. Tickets by tickets, bills by bills, student loans, and, and man, rent bills, and trying to find food depending on refrigerator. Money is coming low. God knows all things. You know that you're going back and forth to the center up there, centering your states for food stamps or cash assistance or different things. God knows all things. And he's going to Immediately bless you financially. Hold on. Don't go through the mental breakdown. God is going to bless you. He's going to open up the windows of heaven. And man, to those that are struggling with homelessness, back and forth to the soup kitchen, God sees your heart and He's going to bless you. He's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. To those that are suffering with homelessness, I'm talking to you. That are looking for home. Those are in shelter systems. I'm talking to you. You're in shelter systems. I'm talking to you. God sees your heart. Amen. He sees it. And because of your income is so low, you, you are not able to get the housing that you actually wanted to get. And the Lord is going to bless you to get it. You go back and forth 
to the housing authorities. You're going back and forth, and the Lord is going to bless some of you. Those that are, amen, are looking, did the application for the jobs, for Amazon, uh, the Amazon, those that are doing the jobs for, amen, Target, nursing, 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 security license, I'm talking to you, business license, master's degree, go forth and get it. God is going to use you. You want a church building? God going to give you the church building. Amen. You want a church building? God going to bless you with the members and support. God is going to bless you. Walk in your authority. I'm talking to everyone that's watching this broadcast as we speak right now. This is a year of divine direction. Some of you are going to get checks in the mail. Some of you are going to, amen, are going to have tax for, amen, uncontrollable income tax going to come to you. Amen. Some of you, God going to bless your businesses to grow. Amen. I mean, I see furniture. I see houses with furniture. Houses and I see apartment buildings. I see, amen, cars is coming. You want a car. You tie it back and forth to ride in the subways. Amen. God is going to bless you with that car you want. He's going to bless it to you. He's going to give it to you. That Mercedes Benz, that Toyota. Amen. God is going to give it to you. Amen. He's going to bless your ministry to grow. Amen. Be faithful with the five or ten people. Be faithful with the two or three. Amen. And God is going to bless you. And people are going to walk in. Amen. They're going to hear the sound. The sound of worship. The sound of praise. The sound of the word of God. And the great testimonies. And God is going to bless it. And he's going to move miraculously in your life. Amen. It's going to be a great shifting. Amen. Amen. Some of you right now feel like you're going to throw in the towel. But don't throw in the towel because God going to bless it. God about God. God about the supernatural move here. Somebody shout, move God. Move in our midst. And I will speak to some of you. I speak, amen, that God will send ushers, armor bearers. That God will send the support they can need. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. God will send the security. God will send the musicians. Amen. God will send the laborers, the deacons, the missionaries, the elders. Amen. The pastors. I mean, he's going to send churches that's going to come under your, under your covenant. Covenant. Or you say covering or, or umbrella. God is going to give you amen. He's going he's gonna to move in a supernatural way. Amen. You have lost some. God going to gain you back more. You have lost a lot. And God going to gain you back more. You have helped establish. I help, I help establish 50 churches. And I lost half of them. God going to restore it back. God going to restore you back. Amen. Amen. God is going to supernaturally move. Amen. Some of you have, some of you are hurting right now because people or your leaders that you serve under don't support you. And God is going to sing your people and going to support you. People are going to pour into your vision. People are going to pour into your birthday, your anniversary, your church. Man, God sees all things. He sees you. He sees where you're coming from. And God is going to supernaturally bless. Some of you have been serving chicken dinners and pastor aid. And man, been doing shelling chicken dinners. And you've been working, helping your pastor. And you asking God, I need a miracle. And God is going to use it. And God is going to send a miracle. You've been faithful as an usher. You've been faithful as a pastor leader. You've been sowing to your leadership. Amen. And sometimes they don't even support you. They don't even see your heart. But God sees your heart. And he's going to bless you, mothers. Brothers, sisters, he's going to bless you. You have bought a lot of things for the church. You have bought sound equipment and tables and Help build, help paint, help do painting and doing different things in the labor. God sees it and God gonna bless you. Some of you, amen, amen, are, are stranded, amen, in the highway on the I 95. Amen. And some of you are, are asking the Lord to bless. You, can I only have a little bit of gas to go 
to my next place of residence. God's going to bless it to somebody that's so into you, to pour into you. He sees your heart. He sees what you're going through. And God is going to bless it. And man, God sees the sacrifices that he makes. And man, some of you musicians out there. And man, God going to bless your homes. He's going to bless your homes. He's going to bless you in the name of Jesus. And be good, be great glory to God. Give him glory. Amen. Amen. God blesses. God blesses. God blesses. Some of you will get birth to you new babies. Amen. Uh, God go bless you. Amen. I see I see future baby showers. I see future weddings. Some of you are gonna get a husband and wife. We give God the glory for that. Amen. God gonna bless you. Some of you engage, you really want to get married. God gonna give it to you. Amen. That one that you truly love, that your companionship, God's gonna give you that that husband, that wife. That's gonna love you from the heart. Have no hidden to your motives. God gonna bless you with that husband and wife. Come on and give him glory. Amen. Some of you have been raised, amen, taking care of your own selves. Amen. Some of you have trouble with cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Amen. Some of you elderly people, amen, with sacrificing. Amen. The Sunday school. Amen. God gonna bless you, some of you. It's a year of miracles, it's a year of signs and wonders and breakthrough and deliverance and healing. Amen. Some of you struggle with glaucoma, some of you can't see, some of you battling right now with leg issues. You on the cane, you on the walker. I want you to stretch out your legs toward the screen and that's and I blow into the screen to you the power of God. We speak deliverance that you walk off that wheelchair. We speak that you walk, amen, in the power of the Lord. We believe in the supernatural power of God. We believe that, God, you would do mighty miracles in the lives of your people. And we give you glory. We give you honor and praise. I did what God has told me to do. Amen. More grace to you. God bless you. Good night. Also, January January 28th at 5 p.m. is my birthday celebration. We'll give you back information about that date. God bless you. More grace.